Here I'll be setting up a day to night time lapse with the view intervalometer. The view intervalometer makes it very easy to uh, set up uh, the holy grail sequence without a lot of settings. The only things we really have to think about is our uh, starting exposure and uh, the day interval and the night interval, which can be different if we like. Um, it'll cause it to accelerate as it goes into the night, but it allows us to get more frames during the sunset and uh, fewer frames, longer exposures at night. So it works out well, but it's, uh, it's a personal preference. So for this one, uh, I'm gonna start out at, uh, well, first we'll on the, the view, we'll go to the time-lapse menu and we can go to exposure to see live view of what that looks like. I have the camera set at uh, 64, uh, hundredth of a second and um, f2.8. The reason for uh, 2.8 is so that we can have a good night exposure uh, without too high of ISO and uh, without aperture ramping. The view can do aperture ramping but uh, with this lens especially I get a bit of flicker doing that so I'm not going to use that this time. So the I just have uh, the time-lapse mode set to auto ramping the interval mode set to auto variable. The day interval, I'm going to do, we're about 45 minutes from sunset yet. I'm going to do six seconds. It'll still get us a lot of frames. And then the night interval, uh, I will do 24 seconds. That will probably get us a 20 second exposure. Ramping options, I'm going to leave at uh, the defaults. And I've already done a test exposure. I've uh, exposed, I'll do it one more time so we can see. So we see on the histogram here, I've exposed mostly for the highlights. And uh, that's because clipping doesn't work well when it's stepping through the shutter speeds. It causes pulsing of the areas that are clipped. So we want to clip as minimally as possible. That'll still happen around the sun a little bit, but uh, as long as it's not much, um, it's quite fixable in post and uh, really not a problem. So we're gonna start it like that, exposed for the highlights. And uh, just let it take it from here. So it's uh, it's running now. Also on the camera I have a, a lens warmer. The reason for that is that it's fairly humid here and right by water. And water's, uh, water's always going to be a problem with humidity. And so the likelihood of the lens fogging up is really high without a lens warmer. So it's, uh, it's running now and if I want to check on this I can activate it with the gesture sensor so I don't bump the camera so I'll swipe my hand once to the right to wake it up and then right again to play back the the current time lapse which isn't very far along just yet but um, it'll it'll just play what we've got so far yeah it's really short but um, later on tonight I will come back and before I stop it I'll, I'll play it back just in case something really good is happening that I didn't notice uh, just when looking at the sky and uh, might uh, might take a little more time before stopping it. But that's it for now. There's not anything more to do. The view will handle all the ramp ramping from here. And if I wanted, I could let it go all the way back into daylight too. And that would uh, that would work just fine. But I'm not gonna do that because uh, with a 20 second interval, 24 second interval at night, that's just too many frames. So that's it for now. Thank you very much.